finals of 1976, and as you have seen, Kyle Rowe Jr. has a pretty good grip on things, but he is still catchable. And it's going to be interesting to see now, as Rowe has only one event left. Bob Rigby, however, has two events left, so he very definitely has a chance at it. And we're going to see the bicycle heats and the bicycle race in a few minutes, and that is an event in which Bob Rigby excels. The overall attention of superstars spans the gamut of sports. That's the idea of the whole thing, to test the versatility. And we do a lot of different things, as we've indicated, 10 different events with each athlete choosing seven. And we had some exciting moments and some fun moments and some real surprises at the very beginning of the competition. And as usual, we started here with the tennis. Let's take a look at what happened. <laughs> The tennis provided us with two big surprises right at the outset. Mike Schmidt had figured to score some points in the tennis, and he had Lynn Swan in his pocket. Leading Swan by a score of 5 nothing. he got to play it around, having a little fun with Swan, and suddenly everything switched. Swan started to hit the ball with precision and came on to beat Schmidt in the tiebreaker. A startling turnaround, and I talked to Lynn about it. You're going to destroy the whole idiom of sports. Here you come out here, start clowning around and get loose and, and pull off a win like this. You know, whatever happened to discipline, concentration, and all that serious stuff? Well, that's the only way you can win uh, from behind like that, discipline, concentration. And I'm sure you've seen many of those SC football games when the cardiac kids laid many of people to rest. Including <laughs> me. The other surprise came when Robert Duvall, one of the fine actors in the world, failed to win the tennis. Now, he is one of the fine tennis players in Southern California in the amateur ranks, was outstanding in the celebrities competition as he won it last year. But he came up against Kyle Roth Jr. in the final, and having been very busy this winter, working in motion pictures and in the theater, Bob Duvall admitted that his concentration broke down. He got a little tired in the final match, and he wound up losing to Kyle Roth Jr. by a score of 6-4. to four. But I must say, as Kyle Roth Sr. fretted in the shade under that Panama hat, that Kyle Roth Jr. played the best tennis in the match against Robert Duvall that I have ever seen seen him play in the Superstars competition. For example, watch this kind of shot making. He was just absolutely outstanding and beat the ball by a score of 6-4 to four to take the first victory in the competition. So while Kyle Senior went off the rest, Reggie talked with our two players, Kyle Roach and Bob DeVoe. What do you think? Well, he played well, tough. He returned so well, you know. He really did. All I had to do, he hit it so hard, I just had to block it back. Yeah. That's all I did. Well, and I just, you know, couldn't get in the groove, and he got in a good groove. He played well. You know, you can't take it away from him. I'm going to play him sometime again out in California on yeah. his court. Yeah. Uh, you'll Two out of three. three. Two out of three. a different story. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going, guys. Thanks very much. So well, this is how the scoreboard looked after the tennis. Kyle Roach sitting up on top with 10 points. Robert Duvall had seven. Tucker Fredrickson, four points, taking third place. Dave Kingman, fourth with two points. And Dave DeBusher, one point in the number five position. So 